of wood elves. It finally happened. Hell did not have to freeze over. People did not have to give up their left arms or give away their firstborn children. But after many years of anticipation and wondering if it would happen at all, wood elves have arrived. So I guess it's time to talk about them. And the perspective I wanted to talk about is from the angle that I got some and I've had some for ages. Probably didn't know this because I've never talked about them, hardly played them. But uh, what I'd like to do here today, I think, is to take you down a little bit of memory lane and the travels that I did with Wood Elves um, since my first inception. So we're going to look at a bunch of little pictures. Here we go. So maybe I should start by telling you how Wood Elves came to be for me. Uh, I actually didn't start with them. They were Army Number 2 after some Lizardmen. The Lizardmen I started out because that's what came in the starter box of Warhammer at the time, so it must have been 5th edition. Uh, where they shared space with the Bretonians. Anyway, played those guys out for... I'll run through this quickly. Played those guys out for a while. Won a tournament, which awarded an army box. And that's where the Wood Elves came in. So I guess by going through this together, this is going to put a real end set on the early days of painting for me. Uh, you can tell that they're all super bright orange. And that's because that's how they were on the box. As a novice painter, I wasn't really willing to stretch the imagination and go out on a limb with those kinds of things at the time. So green and orange, that's how it was. I think the only stretch that I really did was on the cavalry unit, in fact, where I painted the horses in a bunch of different ways because I always thought it was a little bit annoying to have all of the horses the same color. And I still kind of try to do that nowadays when I'm painting cavalry. Um, through the selection here, you're going to see all kinds of stuff that maybe some of you have never seen before or Hopefully for some of you, you were playing Warhammer back in the day, so they feel familiar and you can harken back to the old glory days where it was fresh and new for you as well. Uh, but nothing seemed wrong with these things to me at all. Loved them. Uh, loved them all. Even the chunky dryads with their effectively looked like a bunch of logs that were glued together. Um, they look so silly now when I look back upon them and <laughs> the styling that they do the Wood Elves now. Um, the tree men, of course, were comparatively to, especially the brand new fresh one, which we're going to get to later, um, just so stumpy and blocky. Uh, but I actually still kind of really like them. I like them better than the prior edition, where it was just a bunch of random tree branches from the from the previous edition. Um, and I appreciated the characters that were throughout the Wood Elf range. Uh, admittedly, the second wave was a whole lot better. But you worked with what you had at the time. Um, most of these, of course, were all metal models. The only ones I think that were plastic, in fact, were those archers that came as the monopose ones, all right-handed, reaching for a quiver at the same time. Uh, but it was a it was an experimental time. I learned a lot about painting. Uh, flesh tone was a big deal here because the only thing I painted before that was lizard men, so I had to learn how to do that. Uh, the paints that I was using came out kind of waxy, I think, at the time. Uh, so they don't have the clean and more natural feel that the paints do now. Some other tiny things like the little wee Warhawk Riders before Warhawk Riders were good. They're all in there. The Eagles. Um, you know, it's a bit nostalgic for me to look back on it now. It's good. Oh yeah, and did you know that the Wood Elves had chariots back in the day? Aren't you jealous of that? Look at that chariot action. Yeah, okay, let's move on. So then 2005 rolls around, and at this point I got about five armies under my belt after being in the hobby for nearly a decade. But with the Wood Elf release, man, they knocked it out of the park. And uh, I was so proud to be an already Wood Elf player because the bandwagon was over full. Um, with the multi-part plastic kits that they came up with, and the design of both the Glade Guard and the Glade Riders being multi-part plastic, just they knocked it out of the park with these ones. Uh, dynamically posed all across the board was was beautiful. Um, I guess I should say that Games Workshop was still pretty new with multi-part plastics at this stage. They only really kind of got into that about four or five years before the Wood Elves, but they nailed it. Um, dryads included with the way that they stuck together and uh, and you could get different looks out of them. It was really wonderful. Uh, the other welcome sites here were a few new units to the Wood Elves. Of course, this was the first time that they introduced Treekin, so you could have the Monstrous Cav, 
Um, the forest spirits really came to the forefront um, with the dryads being readily accessible like they were. Um, Wild Riders was a new unit and uh, they I don't know if they saw a lot of gameplay but they would they saw some good uses anyway. The things that were really really remarkable was uh, the dynamism that they put into the characters and they did a, actually a pretty big range of heroes for the Wood Elves from the uh, the Way Watcher Lord to the uh, the guy with the great weapon that they kind of and the, and the horned fellow that they kind of tropped tropped as the altar kindred the wizards were beautiful every one of them um, the war dancers came with a little more bit more dynamic pose as well and the way watchers were were all wonderful can't say enough about the range and they've uh, the only thing that I think that I look back on now out of this stretch of time that was a little bit chunky and maybe I didn't enjoy was the tree men and the tree kin the styling of those guys could have used a little bit more work could have been more dryad like uh, I think because of those guys I really enjoy. At that time, Wood Elves were also the lead into the new edition of Warhammer, and that was kind of a golden age of playtime as well for them. I think that the things that lent really well to them was they were quick and agile and maneuverable when some other armies were not. Um, remember, this was in the age before random movement and random charges. Um, it was also in an age where there was no step up and, uh, and multi striking. Right? So if you killed the front rank of guys, which the Wood Elves could more than comfortably do in many cases, they didn't get to hit you back. Um, and that was what a Wood Elf really wanted, because they weren't any more armored back then than they are now. I think as the edition moved along and we switched over into 8th edition, of course you've heard all about it over the last few years, about the demise of the Wood Elves and the less effectiveness that they are, relying almost exclusively on tree spirits, tree kin, dryads, etc, etc, to get the job done. Um, and I guess going forward now, we're now experimenting with a new age. And uh, with the Wood Elf book just out last month, now we go into new expectations and a new set of things to explore. Now that 2014 is struck, and the Wood Elf new book has come around, um, what can we expect? Well, I don't know if I'm going to get into anything about rules and what units are going to be good and what units are going to be bad. Um, but to talk about modeling, I'll tell you, this guy is the man. I got this tree man last week and got it hurriedly into painting it up right away. And boy, did I really love it. He is so good. Moving on from that, Sisters of the Thorn, I got two boxes of those and I'm going to model those in the next little bit and see if I can get the most I can out of both them and the Wild Riders and maybe I can dual use them out of the same box. Beyond that, I, I passed on the Arloth character out of the gates just simply because I got lots of cool Wood Elf characters already so I don't have any immediate plans for him. Uh, the other stuff, the the Rangers and the Eternal Guard, obviously very cool. I think I'm going to snatch those up in a little bit and do some Woodsman Rangers, Wildwood Rangers, and uh, put them on the battlefield. Well, I guess that concludes my little nostalgic tour of the past, looking back upon the Wood Elves of old, and a brief snapshot of what the future holds. Uh, I'd like to kind of get everybody's opinion on what they think of I don't want to talk about the rules, as, as I said, but but more of the models that they've released recently, and if you've got them out of the box and played with them, I want to kind of get your feel on how they go together and any kind of other possibilities that you've thought of with them. Uh, but there it is. I think I'm going to wrap up at this point. Thanks all for watching, and I uh, hope you enjoy the Wood Elves going forward as much as I have in the past.